Hey, I'm James Cook, and today on the show, we're going to be talking to San Antonio's very own Clay Hollis. Clay, how you doing, buddy? Hey, James. How are you? Thank you for having me. Doing great. Uh, you've got a brand new single out right now that we're playing on the station. Looks like you're heading for the top 20 soon with this single, Anybody Loving You Lately. And I found out that you held on to that single for a while. So tell us a little bit uh, about that and why the wait? Uh, well, first of all, you know, I got to say thank you to the writers on it, Aaron Goodman and Bart Butler. And, you know, it's a song that um, was actually pitched to me gosh, uh, probably four or five years ago. And uh, it just lived in a file, like a Dropbox folder, you know, and um, for the for the project, we were like, we're just looking at songs of like, what, what would be a good fit? And, um, you know, because I had been writing a little bit too, and then we were going to cut some outside songs. And I went back through that old folder and like just something about that song stuck out to me, you know, sometimes different songs, uh, you know, hit you at different parts of your life or whatever. So, uh, it was just, uh, I really enjoyed it. And there was still a couple things of like the song itself that was, um, you know, a little bit, you know, not really my style. So we kind of reworked it in a way that would fit me better. And, and uh, I love the way we got it recorded in the studio. And, and as it turns out, you know, it's now one of a, you know, it's a fan favorite and the band loves to play it. And it's, uh, it's one of those more definitely high energy songs, uh, towards the end of the show so uh, you know that's kind of like how it came to be and and now it's you know one of my best songs so uh i i gotta thank those guys for letting me do that well you've been doing some writing in nashville and i found out that you're going to be going back to nashville very soon for uh the whiskey jam out there yeah Tell us about that so, um, you know, I actually don't know too much about it other than like, you know, of course, Whiskey Jam is a very popular showcase show for artists at, at uh, Winner's Bar there in Nashville. And uh, I've never I've never played it. So uh, I got a, you know, shout out to my manager, Jenna Heideman, who um, pulled some strings to get us on the show, I guess. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's going to be a full band thing. It, it's a real quick. It's like rapid fire with with musicians. So it's like. Um, you, you hop up on stage with your band and they've already got a back line. They got a drum kit, guitar and bass there. Um, you play your three, th whatever three songs you want to feature and, uh, you know, just rock out and it's normally a big crowd. So that'll be on Monday, the 26th in Nashville. Uh, so just about a week, week or so or two away, something like that. But uh, All right. Yeah. Good luck with that one, man. I'm, I'm excited you. for you for that one. Give them yeah. hell out there. It's going to be great. Yeah. Speaking of which, man, I noticed that you had some openers coming up. Some great, great openers. Shenandoah, Clint Black, Kevin Fowler. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Like, where are you going to be playing with some of these guys? Yeah, so we're we're playing uh, we're playing with Shenandoah uh, at Fry Height Country Store. And uh, that's going to be a fun one because, you know, I, uh, I have a couple. I have my, one of my good friends is, like, one of their, uh, like, Texas road managers. So that's kind of how we uh, – we were able to, uh, you know, find our way in the back door and, and open up for Shenandoah, which um, is great. And of course, you know, Cody Reimer over at Fry Height, um, he always takes care of me. So it was a, just a really good fit. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Shenandoah. But then uh, also, yeah, coming up Mother's Day, May 9th, uh, we, we will be with Clint Black at Whitewater Amphitheater in New Braunfels, Texas. And uh, that's going to be a fun one. I can guarantee it. That's on a Sunday. So, uh, you know, the you need some mother's day plans for your, uh, for your family or anyone out there listening, you know, and you're in the area, come on, come on by whitewater. Um, and then, yeah, we're uh, later on in the month, uh, May 21st, we're down with, uh, Kevin Fowler at Schrader hall and, um, on into the summer, we got some more cool stuff. I know we got some more John Wolf dates that are going to be announced soon. And, um, I've got my own personal headline dates, uh, at a couple of different venues um, and then I know we got a Randall King run, my buddy Randall, uh, uh, if you guys don't know Randall, check him out. He's great. And, uh, I know that we're with him in St. Joe, Texas, and then down to Webster, Texas sometime in, uh, early June, I think, or something. I might be late June. I can't remember, but I mean, the, the whole year is starting to shape out really well with good shows, a lot of opening acts, a lot of good shows for me, you know, on the headline side and, uh, you know, uh, coming out of COVID, um, it's just happy. I'm happy to see people working again. And, uh, 
I'm happy to, I'm, I'm tickled to death that, you know, the band is, we're finding work and we're getting to play music. So, uh, you know, come see us wherever you can. Definitely. Uh, now, let me ask you this. I know you'd like to do some stuff on your off time. Uh, you have a passion for offshore fishing. Do you have a specific fish that boat, you're looking to catch when you go out there? Or? Boats and fishing are my two favorite thing. Yeah. But our, right. I say fishing, fi boats and fishing is the one thing. Music and that right there. So, yeah, yeah. I was just down there this past weekend. Uh, I guess my favorite kind of fishing is uh, when we're, you know, I'm not so much a bay fisherman. We like to do offshore but, um, you know, if we're, uh, we're out there sport fishing, trolling for, you know, marlin or, you know, uh, live baiting for marlin or tuna or uh, tuna or wahoo, which are the, you know, the two most common cuts of fish you'll see in a sushi uh, restaurant. In any type of Japanese sushi restaurant you go into, if you see a white, you know, uh, any type of white fish or tuna, it's normally wahoo or yellowfin, something so um and for anyone that's ever never gone offshore, uh, if you ever have the opportunity to, you got to, man, because, you know, there's nothing like having your adrenaline flow through your blood and like you're like got this rod and reel in your hand. And it's just like it's you, all this force and might. And it's uh, it's quite the uh, adrenaline rush. It really is. So I, I don't know. I, it infected me when I was young, you know, and I say infected me because it's it's something that my grandfather, you know, turned me on to when I was little, like four or five years old, I was out there on the water fishing. So it's just something that really shaped the way I grew up and uh, being around, you know, the salt water growing up is just something that never, you'll never get enough of. So it's, uh, you know, between, between music and being down on the water around, you know, boats and fishing, those got to be my two favorite things. So here I am every, I hear it every day, James. It's, it's funny. They're like, man, you live quite the life. He goes, yeah, right. Music and fishing all the damn time. So it's like, <laughs> I know it's like, it's, but I'm, I'm, bad. Very, <laughs> I'm blessed and fortunate that I get to, that I get to uh, do it as much as I do. So I, I got a lot of good people in my life and I'm very blessed. So, yeah. Well, man, uh, love the new one again. Anybody loving you lately? Uh, you can check out that new one on 94.9 The Outlaw. And you can also check yeah. out his latest EP, Honky Tonk Highway. Uh, we've been talking with San Antonio's very own Clay Hollis. Clay, thank you again for joining us. Thank you, James, so much for having me on. And uh, hope to see you soon. Hey, man, hope to see you soon. You take care.